Hello, I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on a Dell Inspiron 1545. First, remove the power and then the, remove the battery. After you remove the battery, you have to remove six screws from the top on the front bezel. But first, remove the plastic covers. Each screw has a plastic cover on top of it. You can use a flat little um, screwdriver to remove them if they are hard to take off. And then remove the screws. They are six. Two on the bottom and four screws on on the top of the vessel. So you have to remove six. When you remove them, make sure you put aside where, where you where you can lose them. After you remove the screws, you start taking off the front vessel carefully. It's very thin. It's very thin. You don't want to lose them. You don't want to break them. You don't want to break carefully. On this particular computer, on the lower part of the front vessel, seems like the plastic is, is, is glued. So we have to use something flat like a credit card. Carefully you have to remove that glue so you can take off the plastic. Then you have to remove three little screws from each side. The one is down in the bottom and the lower, the lowest down in the bottom. You can get access to it. So you have to remove two screws that are holding the arms that actually holds the screen. You have to remove those two screws on the lower part of the harness. So then you pull the screen with the harness and then you have access to the lower screw down in the bottom. the harness. Now you have to disconnect the video cable. Now, this is the video cable that connects to the screen. Carefully disconnect it. Okay, you can see it's glued to the screen. And then the power cable from the inverter. Okay. So now the screen is released. So this is the broken screen. So we got a brand new screen from laptops.com, laptopscreen.com. That's the cheaper price we can find on the internet. This is the same size. So we have to reverse the process. Connect first, connect the video cable to the new screen. Make sure you connect that correctly, if not you won't have video on the new screen. Attach the cable to the screen.
you can also put um, now connect the power cable to the inverter make sure you connect this if not you won't see nothing on the screen that is the actual power going to the screen and then you can put some uh, tape on the connector video cable on the video cable connector to secure to secure it then you have to connect you, you have to assemble the screen to the harness remember there's three screws that you took off of each side you have to put it, you have to put it back there are three each side And then uh, the two screws you took off from the harness, you know, the one is holding the harness, there are two, one each side, one on each side. So at this point, you have to test the screen. Connect the power cord to the computer, to the laptop, and then turn it on. And now you can see that the screen is connected properly. Turn it off, disconnect the power again, again, and continue putting everything back, assembling the vessel back to the screen carefully. You had to snap in pretty well. Okay. Connect all the screws back to the vessel. Remember there are six, four on the top, two on the bottom. You have to put all the screws back with the way it was. And then you have to put all the plastics. You remember the plastic covers for, for each screw? Okay, this is the last screw. Okay. To make sure the chrome vessel is assembled correctly. Now start putting all the plastics, the covers that goes on each screw in the front vessel. There are six, one for each screw. If you finish putting it all back together. Connect the battery, um, insert the battery back to the laptop. Connect the power and turn on the laptop. You see the process is very easy. Now we got a very, uh, now we have a new screen on the laptop. Thank you for watching.